हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सिक्योरिटी जोन्स इन द पैलो ऑल्टो फायर वॉल्स सो द टर्म सिक्योरिटी जोन इज लिटिल कंफ्यूजिंग हु आर न्यू टू द फायर वॉल्स हु आर क्वाइट गुड इन फायर वॉल्स इट्स क्वाइट यूजुअल टू देम बट इट रियली ट्रेवल्स द गायज हु आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद दिस वन सो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिक्योरिटी जोन्स इन द फायर वॉल or focused on the palo alto firewalls let's understand first in the real environment that what security zones mean or in fact the zones mean right so for example let me take an example of uh, the our uh, real environment let's see uh, we are having a one zone like there is a parliament right so there is in the parliament there people are not allowed to visit normally while in the normal environment in the public area where we live right uh, let us suppose that's a road or any public place we can see anyone can visit over there right there is no restrictions to visit over there so there is a type we can say that is pu- zone uh, public zone we can say or any x y z no- name if you want to give we can give that name but definitely there is a limited territory in which publicly you can roam let us suppose there is a like military area wherever we have all the officials living or they are having operations military operations over there you are not authorized to visit over there right you are not allowed to go there but there are certain peoples like uh, uh, family members who are of the military areas they can visit certain zones of the campus environment right of the relatives of these persons so they can go to there but only to the certain area but they cannot go to any other official area wherever the most secure things are there similarly if there is a parliament there are some areas where you can visit like and some areas you cannot visit so these type of zones we can say we are having in our real environment that uh, some of the people from public anyone like let us suppose from the parliament publicly anyone can visit over there there is no restrictions to go visit any public place from parliament to or military person these can people can visit these areas there is no restrictions for that one while in the reverse scenarios any public normal person if he wants to go to the military area he will be restricted at the gate he cannot enter inside if he wants to visit he need some special permissions he can visit limited areas uh, people can be escorted for that one similarly it can be having like parliament they can visit certain areas or they cannot so the same thing is happening in the concept of our firewalls where limited things are allowed and other things are not allowed so let me clear all these things and let's understand in the scenario of the firewall that what exactly it is let us say there is a one firewall here so on the firewall we are having the multiple interfaces right it can be our enterprise network where it is connected we can say it as an internal network it can be connected to the internet that can be said as a public right Uh, let's say as an internet as of now another thing can be like uh, in firewall scenarios or in terminologies of palo alto we do not say any name specific but let's uh, standardize that name dmz that we normally call as a demilitarized zone in palo alto terminologies we are having the zones like this is one zone let us say we give this name as a trust so this is like one area we can say which is connected to this interface and that i am giving name as a trust so it is not like that uh, in the drop down you have to select something trust or uh, some other name you can give any name but obviously that is just one area we can say like we are having a parliament area or military area or there can be some uh, 
moderate access areas as well not parliament or military areas they can be having some areas which are having moderate access so those can also we give the name so the similarly we are having the firewall that we give some one area in the trust another area like this is one and another interface which is connected to this dmz uh, network like there can be having n number of computers there and this one we can say as a dmz or we can give any name there but obviously the this is a different type of area another thing we can give name as a untrust these are the name i am giving uh, normally what we give in the production environment or the real environment in reference to the firewalls we always give the names like this so that we do not get confused let us suppose you give untrust name to our internal network right so an, any new person comes and he just thinks that oh, why somebody has given the name untrust to the internal network because internal network is our the most trusted so that's why we give the name which are very much uh, common to the uh, these uh, i think it's cleared let's talk about some general concepts what we uh, use in the real environment and these are not like uh, of the palo alto firewalls rules but these are the good practice we follow that whenever normally the communication from internal to public internet that is allowed let us suppose there is a one user here and he wants to access internet then the communication will be allowed while if this guy wants to try to access dmz he can access this communication is also allowed okay but from the public many any resource from out into the in from the internet if he wants to try to access dmc he can access but only if he is authorized to access the company resources or let us say we can say uh, if you are having a banking environment and you are having access to x uh, this your account you can access it right and by default from dmc to internal communication is not allowed why this is not allowed because there can be some malicious users who can try to exploit your internet internal resources like they can connect to dmz and then they will try to connect to internet network so that's why this communication is not allowed so that they cannot do some malicious things to our internal network and uh, as usual from public to internal network is also not allowed so these are the general practice we follow but these are not limited to palo alto firewall let's talk about some default behaviors of the our palo alto firewall so in the palo alto firewalls the first default is inter zone communication is not allowed enter zone not allowed so it means that you have just uh, let me just clear it it means that if you have set up a new firewall here and uh, you are having a trust here another zone zone as untrust so by default this communication will not be allowed in the palo alto firewalls so i'm talking about we can say the palo pa default all right so the first thing is that the inter zone communication is not allowed inter zone not allowed another thing is intra zone communication is allowed intra zone means that within the zone let us suppose this is your internal network and there are two users there user a and user b and if a wants to reach b it communication will be allowed they have it they will not be having any issue to reach to the uh, reaching each other if they are of the same zone right but if they want to this guy wants to use the internet or he wants to go outside of this one we have to allow this one by setting up a rule or we can say the security policy all right so these are the basically the concept of our security zones in the palo alto firewalls and uh, i can show you these things in the comment section but definitely i have a plan to show you these on the real palo alto firewalls 
so for that one you have to wait uh, for a while in the next session i will cover it all right guys if you have any questions uh, please reach out to me or you can write in the comment section